Hello and welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to build off of what we learned in the previous tutorial which was basic operators and this time we're going to use the remainder operator. So it's kind of like division but now we're just getting the remaining number returned to us versus the actual number we, uh, our division gives us. So with that being said we're going to look at uh, remainder. Um, remainder works with integers floating point numbers and negatives which is a little different from some programming languages where it only works with integers or it only works with positives so let's take a look at it let's initiate a variable var a is equal to and let's say 20 and then the remainder the remainder operator is the percentage symbol and then we're going to say 7 All right. so Swift's going to calculate this and return to us the remainder 7 goes into 20 two times and has a remaining number of 6. And there's 6. All right. We can also do this with a negative number. So var b equals negative 20, remainder 7. And this time we're going to get this, uh, negative 6. So 7 goes into 20 two times. The remainder is negative 6. There you go. Um, how about var c equal to 20.0 so now with the floating point number and we remainder operator and this time we're going to get 2 goes into 20.0 two times we get uh, 6.0 and remember what I told you before it only shows up 6 and you're working with uh, floating point numbers or doubles uh, you click on this little eyeball over here and it's going to give you 6.0 alright um, let's try a couple different ones. Var D is equal to, let's say, uh, 79, and then the remainder, 8, and hit return. So, you 8 gets divided into 79, and then the remaining number is returned to us, and that is 7. All right. Uh, let's do... Uh, var e is equal to, um, let's do 8, remainder 205. Now, what do you think is going to happen in this case? We can't divide 8 by 205 because 205 doesn't go into 8. It just returns to us 8. All right. So if you're getting your number returned back to you, um, the reason probably is that the right hand number cannot go into the left hand number. All right, so check your math, check your equation, um, and make sure it's correct in the order that you want. All right, um, let's take another look at another uh, negative no number. Um, remainder, and it's going to kick back a number to us. I can't do this one in our in my head, so it's going to kick back a negative 248. Okay. And one more. And we're going to do module or remainder 789. What happens here? Well, we get 89 returned to us because 789 doesn't go into 89. So that is the remainder operator in Swift. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at swifttutorial.online. Uh, leave a comment, let us know how we're doing, and don't forget to like the video. We'll see you in the next one.